welcome back to this week's video. I thought we would slow it down and have a cozy autumn vlog this week because I had to tackle a few bits around the house and I wanted to just make the home extra cozy because it is October, it's officially cozy season and I wanted to just warm the house up and change up a few bits and make it extra warm and cozy. The first thing I wanted to tackle in the bedroom was changing up the sheets but I also put on my slightly heavier duvet so I call it like my winter it's like the heavier tog duvet because the mornings and the nights have gotten cold we still have some like mild days but the nights and mornings are nice and cold I noticed during the week there was some ground frost and it was one of those really sunny pretty mornings that was frosty and I just love them mornings I think they are magic so I actually got this bed set it's from a brand that sadly closed down in lockdown and um, it's Oasis they mainly did women's fashion but they did some homeware and I actually picked up this floral bed set that was on sale I'm also just rearranging a few bits in the house, popping out one or two little autumn trinkets. I don't do a lot of like decorating for Halloween. I put the odd kind of pumpkin and bits and pieces out, but I am more of a Christmas girl. So I have a few bits up for the month of October and then once it's November, we are going full on Christmas. <laughs> because this year I decided I am going to start using my open fire. I haven't used my open fire god in about like six or seven years. I used it when I first moved into the house and then I just stopped. I don't know why. So I have a chimney sweep coming out. I really wanted to have the fire lighting for this video but sadly the chimney sweep wasn't here on time. So I just cleaned it out. I also had to take out some stuff that was like stopping the draft from the chimney. So I cleaned out as much as I could and now I am just stacking up my logs. I treated myself to this cute basket. I got it in Woody's. Um, so it's gonna be my log basket. So I'm excited to get the fire lit because we are gonna be home a lot for winter and I just wanted to make it extra cozy. And I just thought the open fire would be really nice. I don't need the open fire to heat the house. I do have like gas central heating. So I'm excited to use the fire on my days off and for the longer evenings as well. I just think there's something magic about an open fire. We'll always remember how it
I am blessed to have lots of trees right beside my house. However, this time of year, they like to bless me with their fallen leaves. So now, probably until the start of November, I try to just keep on top of the leaves, like probably every fortnight or once a week when it's really bad. And I noticed that I don't have to cut the grass as much now because it's not growing as quick. In summer, I felt like I was cutting it every week. So I try to mow up as many leaves as I can and then sweep them all. So this is me, my battle for the month of October. But you know what? I don't mind because the trees I have right beside my house are beautiful and the birds love them. And yeah, I can complain about my leaf. <laughs> well, Pepsi helps me sometimes. I'm blondie as well. So yeah, I can't complain about my leaf drama. Um, it keeps me fit anyway, sweeping them up. Hand in hand, building castles out of sand, reaching for the ground. I thought I would just slow it down this week and just do a cozy kind of vlog style. This is how the house is looking. Um, like I said earlier, I don't do like a big kind of Halloween decorating or putting out loads of pumpkins or like porch displays and things like that. Although they, I love watching people do them, but yeah, we don't really do that in Ireland, like maybe in some places. It's more about the Christmas decor, I think. So as of today, I don't know what the crack is with Halloween. I'm assuming it's going to be canceled, but Halloween can never be canceled. I'm assuming they're going to issue guidelines on trick-or-treating and it's gonna be, don't go trick-or-treating, <laughs> but I don't know yet. And what my plan is, depending on what restrictions are in place for Halloween, um, my niece and nephew, I have ordered myself, my niece and my nephew outfits. They are amazing. No Bob Ross this year. <laughs> Although I think I need to crack out my Bob Ross from last year. So I've ordered us outfits and I think we can have like a garden party. Like when I say party, a tea party with a three and a four year old. So hopefully I can still do something like that and make the garden cozy. I might get some pumpkins and do a display in the garden. Um, and have a home trick-or-treating, possibly. I'd love to know your ideas if trick-or-treating has been cancelled in your area. What um, ideas have you got for entertaining the kiddies? Because I still think like it should be marked, you know? You can't cancel Halloween. You can cancel trick-or-treating, but you can't cancel Halloween. So that's my plans anyway. Um, I'll share my outfit. The reason why it's not a DIY outfit is because it's inflatable. Yeah, 
I'll say no more until my outfit arrives. Um, <laughs> I'll pop it on my Instagram anyway if you want to see. Well, that is me for this week. Cheeky thumbs up. Let me know if you enjoyed this kind of slower kind of paced video to my usual bang smash hammer let's make this kind of video i think it was just nice to take it down a notch this week so yes cheeky thumbs up and i'll see you in next week's video